15 minutes. We'll see you back. Come in a dangerous place to live. Yep. It's so is everywhere get, in the world. Yakov, it's about to get a lot worse. It's not filtering it either way because our filter is using garbage. Where's the filter? In the storage room. Something we have to cut. Though. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a little scary what's going to be here. We're just in North Woodmere. I'm thinking, why am I not living in North Woodmere? It's beautiful over there. How, how did you answer that question for yourself, Tiago? What'd you come how up did with? I? What did you come up with? I don't have an answer. I uh, am. Yeah. Other than that, I live across the street from a minion. So the Mamela, I dive in with a minion. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, I'm within stone's throw of a minion. Otherwise, I'm, I'm yeah, a go, shy, across, yeah, ac across the street or to the left? Right. <laughs> Whatever it's within within a stone's throw. I even get a I think as the crow flies, Parrot's is. minion is a little bit closer because by Shem Parkway, okay. you got to walk all the way in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I even have a ten o'clock option for Shabbos morning. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, all right. Does Parrot's <laughs> come on time to that one? Uh, no comment on that. I don't see it. No comment. Rabaran appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. So we're up to four yeah. lines down from the top. Not an easy daft today. We'll just try and get the ideas, right? You really have to know the intricacies. It's not intricacies. You just have to really know the order of the avoid on, on Yom Kippur in order to in order to really understand this today is today's daft. But anyways, so what we were dealing with at the end of yesterday's daft was machlaikis if the main thing we have to know is is it ma'akiv? I mean there's two things that he has to do to coin god he has to take the lottery from the it says lashem and lazozo right he has to take one from each and put it on top he's got to do two things again he's got to take it out and he has to put one down each one one each on top of each animal Right, and that shows that one is going to be shechted and one is going to be thrown off the cliff. So there's really two mitzvahs there. So we had a machlaikis, whether let's say he just decides not to choose the lottery and he just says, okay, this animal is going to be for the chattas and this animal is going to be for the thrown off the cliff. Is that ma'akiv or not? Meaning, will that make it that it's no good? Because it's um, it's really different than every other kachim, because every other way it is in kachim is that when you verbalize something, that's what makes it into hectish, right? Meaning when you, how do you make a, an animal into hectish? You say, this animal is going to be a carbon. And then that automatically designates it as a carbon and becomes hectish. Here, by Yom Kippur, it doesn't work like that. If we're saying verbalizing does not work. It has to be done through the lottery. If he doesn't do through the lottery, then it's a machloik as whether that works. So it's different than all other coaching. So that's really that's really what's going on for the next blot. Actually, more than that's really the next two blot. So anyway, so Toshima. So mitzvah lahagril ulis vadas. It's a mitzvah to do the hagra to do the girl, to do the lottery, and to to say vidu on the seer that's going to be sent off the cliff. So you he does a vidu on that too, right? Loi loi higril v'loi his father, but if he didn't do the girl. Or he didn't do the vidui on the on the show that's gonna be thrown off the cliff, then it's gonna then it's still kosher, meaning so he has to do it. But if he doesn't do it, it's not ma'akiv. So this is clearly um, this is clearly well, it's very clear that this Bryce is saying that it's not ma'akiv, which is armaflikus, whether it's whether it's ma'akiv or not. So this goes against the second part of Raviana's shita. So if you're going to say like we ended off yesterday's daf and said that this is talking about here it also means it doesn't mean that the lottery is a problem but to put meaning the one that you can get away with is if let's say he doesn't place the lot the winning ticket we said it's not a ticket but the winning piece of wood on top of the animal then that's not market maybe that's maybe that's what this is talking about so what says that can't be either because the name of Sefa. So it says in the Sefer, Rav Shimon, Rav Shimon says, and this is going to be the, a lot of part of the, the Da'af also, this Machleik is of, of Rav Shimon and the Rabbana, Rav Shimon, Rav Shimon, if he didn't use a lottery 
it's kosher, meaning if he just chose which animal he wanted, it's going to be kosher, but if he didn't do vidui, then it's going to be puzzle. So my love, so how do you going to understand what Hashem is saying? My love, Higril, now what is, um, what I'm saying, my, my loy Higril, what does it mean if he didn't do the Gairil? If it's, if you're going to say that he just didn't put it down on top of the animals, that means that Rib Shimon is going to hold that the Gairil, that picking up the Gairil, picking them out of the, out of the, out of the box is Ma'akib. But Tani, we have a price of Mace Echenmian. Let's say one of them dies. Let's say one of the two Seerim dies. Right? So now what do you do? Do you have to do another lottery or do you just replace it? Maybe Chavera, Shalai Bagrola. All you have to do is bring a, another one and you just it replaces it. You don't have to do another Gairal. Divi Rab Shimon. That's what Rab Shimon holds. So clearly you see that Rab Shimon holds that a Gairal is not necessary because if a Gairal was necessary, then how can he say that if you lose one of the animals that you just replaced it? You need to do gyro. Gyro lottery is part of the is part maybe, of maybe the... is only required initially, but not not after not after one of them dies. Right. So that's that's a good point, right? But the thing is like this: if you hold that gyro is what makes the kedusha, right? Like we were saying before, that normally kachim just verbalizing which it is is that's it. That's what you do. And for some reason, by Yom Kippur, the Torah chose that Gairo is what makes it. So if you hold that Gairo is what makes it, that you don't have it. Right? Uh, but that, that's the only way I see how you can answer your question. Right? Um, because otherwise, why can't he just do another Gairo? Why not just do a Gairo? What's the big deal? Right? Take two goats and make a Gairo. But he's saying you know, you don't do that. So clearly he doesn't he doesn't hold that the girdle is a necessary component. That's uh, that's how you have to say it. So Gemara says, okay. So now, so what are we talking about here? It can't be that that the Tanakama means that the, what's ma'akev is to put it down on top of the animals. So we say Reb Shimon lo yada my rabbanon. So what happened, what's going on here is that Reb Shimon did not understand what the rabbanon were saying. This is what he meant. This is what he said. He was saying to Rabbanon, so if you say that when it says Goyrol, it means Mamish Goyrol, meaning picking out the lottery, then I disagree with you in one in one case. Right? Meaning, because they said that the that the 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 uh vidui is ma'akiv, and the Kham say the vidui is not ma'akiv, and I and Rab Shimon says it does. And he 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 hagrola da kamri so and if what you're saying is that the girl is a problem, right? I'm sorry, that girl, what you're saying is needs to be done is the placing of the lotteries on top of the animal's heads. Then I disagree with you in two, right? Meaning that Rabbi Shimon holds that even picking out the lottery is not, uh, is not, a uh, is not ma'akit, right? But the vidu is ma'akit. So that essentially, um, Rab Shimon is saying it's possible that I could be arguing on the Rabbanon in one case, or I could be arguing on the Rabbanon in two cases. Okay. So Toshima, Par. Now, according to Rashi, this whole Gemara should come after the next Gemara. It's not really, it does, it's not so ma'akiv, not to use, a, no pun intended. It's not so ma'akiv, if that, that's the, what the order is. But Rashi really says that this, this Gemara should be coming after the next Gemara. But okay, so Toshima, that, and this long tesis is going is changing shot, not like Rashi. Okay, so anyways, Toshima par ma'akev is a seir, right? So the par is ma'akev the seir. Who seir ain't ma'akev is a par, and the par is not ma'akev the the zir is not ma'akev the par. So I think it's kedai to just figure out now what exactly was the order, right? Meaning there's a whole order in the Torah exactly what went on with the kohen gadol. So the first thing is that he does vidui on the par, right? First he does vidui on his par. Then he goes and he takes, he does the lottery for the two goats, right? Then he goes back to the par and does another vidui. Yeah, then he goes and he brings the ketores. Yeah, then he brings the, then he shechts the, he shechts the, uh, I'm sorry, no, he shechted it before. He, he says the second vidui on the par, shechts it, 
gives the blood to uh, to another coin to mix it, brings the ketiris inside to the kodesh kedushim, comes back out, takes the blood from the goat, from the I'm sorry, not from the goat, from the from the. It's, 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 <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the coin goat because then this whole gemara would be about me. <laughs> right? Then he takes the the blood from the from the par, sprinkles it. Um, he puts it in front of the in front of the aron. Then he goes and he shechts the seir, and then he puts it on the. He puts that. He goes and sprinkles that on the aron. Then he goes and he takes the 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 par's blood and he puts it on the paraiches. And then he does it with the goat, and then he mixes both bloods together and puts it onto the mizbeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't know if it was helpful to do that order or not, but basically the sedashayla is like this: What happens if he mixes it up, and he does the par before the sit, but he does the par after the seir, right? Or the other way around. And so again, so tashima par ma'akev is a seir. The par is ma'akev the seir, right? And the seir ain't ma'akiv as a par, but the seir is not ma'akiv the par. Yeah? So, bimatonis shebifnim, meaning only when you're putting the blood, right? So there's two places that they puts the blood, one in the inside by the Kaddish Gidashim, or one right outside. So by the matonis bifnim, it's, the par is going to prevent, the, if he does it in the wrong order, it's going to be a problem, but the seir is not going to be a problem. Okay, whatever it is, the vishnam of par ma'akiv is the seir. So we understand that if he didn't do the par yet, he cannot do the seir. Meaning the par is supposed to go first and then the goat, right? Let's say he forgot to do the par, the par, and then he did the seir. So now what? Is it good that does he can he just do the par and finished, or does he have to do the par and then go back and do the seir? Right? So he says Bishlam a par, Bishlam a par, give us a seir. So the the par. The par, I'm sorry, <coughs> the go, the the cow, right or the bull, right, is ma'akiv the seir the akme the seir mekame par. Because if he decides to sprinkle the blood of the seir before he does the the par he didn't do anything. So there, right? So then he's going to have to repeat the whole thing. El seir ain't ma'akiv as a par but the seir not being ma'akiv the 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 cow. Right or the bull? What's the case? If it means that he did the par of the hechel, the outside, before he does the matonas of the seir on the inside, then you can't say that that's not ma'akiv. It says a chayik. It says the word chayik, and a chayik means that's on that's uh, what do you call it? It's non-negotiable and has to be done perfectly in that order. So that can't be. Elalav, the akta matanas to par befnim mikami hagrala. He must have put the blood on the inside by the kodesh kedushim before he did the gyrol. Omi the sidra loy maakva, and we're saying that if the order is not maakiv, ikra hagrala nami loy maakva. So it must be the whole gyrol is not maakiv. David, I don't understand this one either, right? I mean, which Gemara is really going to shlug it up? But he's saying. The Gemara is assuming that he says, since the order is not ma'akiv, let's say he messes up the order. So we're saying, okay, it's still kosher, but he didn't mess up the order. So it must be, if he didn't mess up the order, that means that the whole gyrol must not have been important. Right? Again, he's saying that if he by mistake sprinkled the blood of the par inside before he went and did the gyrol, then it's then it's still okay. So the Gemara is saying, it must be, why is that okay? He did it out of order. Must be, because the girl is not important. Right? So the Gemara is saying, if it's, if, it, if it's out of order, it's not a problem. So the girl must not be important. And this right? is all with two guys. There's a guy to the right and to the left of him watching to make sure he doesn't go out of order. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's I'm just true. saying, right? Yes, 100%. 100%. Yes. Yaka, how, can uh, it be, Yaka, how can it be the girl's not important? The last block is busy talking about the whole girl and the, the whole. Right. So he wants to bring. Right. So to me, it seems like a strickle, a, a stickle, a stretch that just because he's saying, if you do it out of order, that's one thing. You did it. Right? You want to take a proof from that that you get, if you don't do it at all, it's okay, uh-huh. right? It's it's not. And a chanami, that's, you mean it's a that, he's it's, saying it's a, as a chedesh. Well, that's the Gemara saying that right now. The Gemara is going to slug it up in a few lines and say, no, maybe if you mess it up, 
So then it's okay. As long as you do it, doesn't mean that you can't do it. It means you still have to do it. You just have to do it out of order. But that's not what the Gemara is saying right now. The Gemara is saying right now is that since if you do it out of order, it's okay. It must be that if you don't, if you leave it out totally, then it's also okay. Right? It's almost like saying like if for some reason, uh, oh, if you dive in Shema, Shema nursery first, and then you said Shema. Right? So obviously you daven out of order and you got to go back and daven because you got to do Shema before you do Shema Nesri. Right? So we say from that, it must be, well, that's not a good example because the Misa, no, I'm saying meaning if you do Shema and then you do Shema Nesri, I'm sorry, Shema Nesri and then Shema. So like saying, oh, it must be that the Shema Nesri is no, is, is, is no good. Your Shema Nesri, your Shema Nesri is going to be okay. You did daven. You did daven. But the Gemara wants to try and extend it to say that, but that's not such a good example. So, okay, whatever it is, the Gemara is saying that the, that the, this, that if it's out of order, it's not a problem, must be that the girdle is not necessary. Meaning, you have to do it, but if you forget, then it's okay. So Gemara says, Loi, no, that's not the case. The Akhtim Matonis to Parbim is Beach, Mekai Matonis to Seir Behecha. What he did, the last, the last of this whole process was to take the blood of the goat, mix it together with the, with the cow, or the bull, and then sprinkle it all onto the Mizbeach. Not sprinkle, but put it onto the Mizbeach. So we're talking about where he did all that before he put the blood of the goat onto the Hechel. And it's going according to Rabbi Yehuda, who says that anything that was done in the white clothing is not, is not Ma'akir. So that's, so, so it's not talking about the case where the girl is missing. What do you mean? But it says that he messed it up with the matanas that are on the inside. So how can you say that he messed up the order by sprinkling the blood on the outside if it says beferish that he mixed up the ones on the inside? Allah so says, Hamani Rib Shimini, no, so it must be Rib Shimin. This is going according to Rib Shimin, who taka holds that the lottery is not ma'akim. Rip Shimon holds, you have to do the lottery, but if, if the kind for whatever reason, didn't do the lottery, then it's going to be kosher. Or you could say, it's Rabbi Yehuda. And this is what the island was saying. When the granted, the order is not ma'akiv. But but the girl is ma'akiv. Meaning, if he messed up the order, it's okay. Right? Fine. But the, the girl, you have to do. You can't, doesn't mean... Just because we're going to allow the order to allow it to be out of order doesn't mean that the girl is not a, a, an essential part of the of the Yom Kippur Avayda. And if he forgets it, it's going to be no good. Now, here's where Rashi says this should have been really at the top of the daf because this is going on Rab Shimon, right? That Rab Shimon said that it's not Mahakim, that the girl is not Mahakim. So Gemara is saying, both Rabbanan and Rab Shimon, the Rabbanan say it is Mahakim. And Rav Shimon says it's not ma'ak. If Azul Tamayo the Tanya, we're learning the Brisa. Yomad Chay Lefnei Hashem Lechaper Olav. It says that they should be standing alive in front of Hashem for a kapara, meaning it still has to be alive while the kapara is going on. So how long? Meaning they have to make sure that they don't send the goat off the cliff, right? Because the Kohen Gadol did not throw the goat off the cliff. Somebody else did that, right? Ish Eti. So, but what? How does he know? How long he has to make sure, meaning he can't do it too early. If he does it before the other avoiders, then it's no good. So, how long does it have to be alive? So, how long does that goat that's going to Azazel have to be alive? Until the blood of the other goat gets put on to the, gets, gets put on to the, into the because of Shikadashim and the Ever of you, that's what you do. Shimon, I mean, no, Ad Shas Vidu Dvarim. It doesn't need the blood. All it needs to wait for is for the Kayin Gadol to do the vidui on it, and then that's and then that's okay. So what's the machloek? It's my kamev. Because the Tanya, like we learned in the prices, the chaper, it says that it's that it's for a kapara. The kapara is dam makasa b'davar. When it says the kapara, it's talking about the kapara of the blood going on to being sprinkled onto the uh, into the eichel into the kodesh gedoshim bechenu aimer, and it says in the pasuk. When he's finished doing the kapara in the kaidish, in the kaidish akadashim. So you see very clear that the kapara is the doing the blood. Just like there, it's about the, the blood is what gives the kapara. So here, 
So here too is it has to wait for the blood. That's Rabbi Yehuda. So, so bring the blood is what the kapara is. Shimon Aimer no lechaper alav. It says to be mechaper on it. The kapara is dvarim akaz v'davar. That's all my kapara is dvarim. So meaning, so there meaning Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Yehuda have a machlokes as to which thing is causing the kapara, the vidui, the verbal vidui, or the blood. And that same machlokes is going to play into how long does the goat that's going to be thrown off the cliff? How long does it have to stay alive? Does it have to stay alive? until the blood is sprinkled, or does it have to stay alive only till the kind does the vidui? The vidui comes first. So it's the same, but it's the same machlaikas. Essentially, the machlaikas is which one is causing the kapara, the blood or the or the verbal vidui. Okay. Now it gets a little bit easier. Toshima, shalu tamida vis rebi akiva. Let's say, the, okay, this is also, Rabaran, this one is, a, this is going to be a tough one to understand too, right? Shalu tamida vis rebi akiva. So the Tamid and Master Bekiva, all of us know. So we said yesterday that we want the, the Lashem coming into the right hand of the Kohen Gadol, right? So all of us small. If let's say it came into the left hand, Mao Shiyachsel Yemin. So can we just put it into the right hand? <laughs> put it into what, the, what exactly? Um, exactly. What is the thought process? I, I, yeah, this is yeah. This, this is, is Halavai was an Arab Shabbos. We could really handle this one for this a while. This is wild, <laughs> right? So what are they asking? We're going to scam the Olam, right? <laughs> The holiest day of the year at the holiest time, and you're dead. This is what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, it comes up in the left hand. Let's not tell anybody. Just move it into the right hand. Okay, so that was the kasha. Wait, it's Terrence, not. It's not because of scamming. It's to give cover to the shame Hashem with the right no, hand. No, it's because no, it's be, no, it's because to give cover to the shame Hashem. It's the island is gonna. It looks at it as a bad as a bad omen if it comes up in the left hand. That that's besides that happened already. That's true. No, but, but should we want to tell go and switch it? Rav C. Yaakov. Yeah. Shlomi Berger, my friend, Shlomi Berger, his Senior. wife. She, she's an anical of the Kamarna Reb. She's a Kamarna anical. The Kamarna in his base medrash, they never said of a rachamim ever, because the oilim cried too much and it took away from Shabbos. So he took it. He didn't have it in his siddur Shabbos. They never said over Rachman. The Olim got too upset. Halavai, I mean, we don't get upset enough, but they got too upset. He took it out. It ruined. It stared the Shabbos. So this—that's what they, he got it from this Gemara. Well, at least a half a meter in this Gemara. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's. Uh, I don't know. I I think it has to do with the. Uh, um, has to do uh, Gershon with the that the Olam is going to get nervous, so put it into the right hand, right? And the Terence is even better. Don't give the Tzedukim any fuel to start saying, Oh, you see what the rabbis do, right? It's a fascinating Rashi. So, Rashi yeah, I mean, really, so Gemara is saying it's okay to fool the Olam, it's okay to make shik. Oh, so we'll get that'll be the next. Let's see. So that's what it sounds like, right? Because he says oh, that only I'll if think... you can get away with it. <laughs> okay, that's what only it, if you can get away saying. with it. That's what it's saying. Listen, it's a it's a Rashi that unfortunately is very negative to Bismana If you look in the Rashi a few lines down into the Rashi, it's Kedai to see it to the left. Al Titnu Makam Litzadukim says Talmidim Hachalkim Ala Torah. Right. See, it doesn't sound like this is the standard tzedukim, right? The standard tzedukim are the ones that they just deal tersh This one sounds like talmidim achalkim ala Torah. These are talmidim who disagree with the Torah. Lirdois v'limshol behen lekapeach eschem b'tvarim, and they're trying to get at us and to rule over them to try and lekapeach eschem is to try and chop them, right, with words. Sheyomru lefir ritzaynam heim oisim hakol. The rabbis do whatever they want. Right, which is unfortunately, a, a, you know, because you ask a rub and he gives you a psak, okay, do this, you know, and, and then you have the cynics who say, you see, they do whatever they need to do. The rabbis do whatever they need to do. So that's what he answered him back. Don't give makam to these type of people to give this. So Gemara says, Taima, back in the Gemara, so Taima, this is all because. You only didn't want him to do it because you didn't want to give the tzedukim a makam to, 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 to ask questions. But if not, then you would tell him to move it from the left hand to the right hand. 
You said a goyrel is ma'akiv. If goyrel is ma'akiv, then it came up in the left hand. The kivin the kavasi is small. And since the left hand says that it goes to the left goat, how can you go move it to the right? You just you just nix the entire... You were saying that the, the lottery is what's necessary. Right? Now you said it came up in the left hand, you want to move it to the right hand, you just negated the whole lottery. So Amarava, no, Hachikamar, this is what we say. Allah Garo Bismol, if the girl came up in the left hand, meaning Hashem came in the left hand, Maoshi Asiru Lai, Ulisiru Aliyamin, meaning move the goat the, and the lottery to the right. Meaning in the Havamina, we thought that all you're doing is just moving it to the, to the right hand, in which case you're switching the goat. You're switching the Hashem's goat, the one that says Hashem. Is going is which was supposed to be in the left. You made it go to the right, so that's that's a problem. But here we're not doing that. We're saying take the left goat with the left hand and move it to the right. So therefore, the lottery works. The lottery works. So you have two in your right hand now. No, no, no. You swap the right hand to the left and the left to the right. But the okay. point is, is that at least now the one that the winning the winning. I don't know if it's the winner, the one that was meant to be La Shem, which was the left, is Taka going to be that one? And the one that was to the right is ends up being the left, meaning nothing's changing in the, the lottery winner. Whoever won is is the one that won and finished. So I'm like, I'm, I, I, yeah. I, I think it has to be a covered thing. Now you're not fooling anyone. Everyone just saw the switch. Um, what do you mean? They how would everybody see the switch? They saw the switch to carbon. They switched everything now. Yeah. That's the Shaila. Should we switch everything to the right? The carbon and the and the, the kalpi. It has Jeez, to be a carbon thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, but I, I don't understand what they did. I mean, maybe it's me. I don't understand. What, what, what did they do exactly? He picked up they the Alashem in his left hand. Yeah. Right. So now what did they do? Now, so we thought they're just going to switch it to the right hand, in which case okay. that eliminated the lottery because the left one was meant to go Lashem and now you make right. it the right one. So now we're saying, no, we're switching the Lashem to the right. We're also switching the left goat to the right. We don't care. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't care what the real reality is. As long as Hashem is on the right side, that's what they do. That's what they're saying. Yeah, no, everybody, but the reality is so no. Knows Everybody knows the left hand and the left goat is for Hashem. But no, we say, no, we take the left goat and put it on the right side and the right goat on the left side. That's what we're doing? Yes, meaning, yes. So like, like this, okay. what you're accomplishing, like this, what you're accomplishing, at least, is that the winning goat, the goat that was chosen for the left, is still going to be Hashem. It's just now on the right. So basically, it's semantics. It's just a matter of whether Hashem is on the right or the left. But I hear Gershon what you're saying. So the whole island is going to see the switcheroo. It's one thing to switch the lotteries in the bucket or whatever, but but to switch the animals, people are going to hop. I hear it's a bad way to lose a perfect game of Siakam. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's almost like that guy with the no hitter that lost the only runner was a passed ball, right? Yeah, I hear. It's <laughs> going, going back on the Gemara three blocks ago. Who stands on the right? The whole Gemara's question. The cover goes from right to left. So the, head, the, the, the shame Hashem should be on the right and the also should be on the left. I came I up the other way around. Look, the mice, so that's how it came up. I don't know. I don't know. So he said to them, I'm a lem, I'll take them up. I mean, but what's the, the, if, you can, if you're able to switch it, so what's really the point of the goro? There's no point of it. No, the goro is legit. That's what we're saying. The goro is legit. The left winner, the left hand that came up with La Hashem, which means that that's the one that's going to be shafted in the Mizbeach, is going to be the winning goat. You're just switching the entire just left putting it in, to the you're right. Putting the, it's product placement. Like in your store, where you put the Rice Krispies, it's product placement. The one for Hashem goes in the right side, even though everybody knows it's the left goat, but we go, the one for Hashem has to be on the right side. That, right, so we just switch it. We switch it. In the Havamina, we thought that you just switch it. But it's the left goat that was picked. They know. Doylem knows it. Everybody sees it. But it goes to Hashem from the right side. Right. They just That's put it onto the, the right. They just put it onto the right. So it's a fascinating thing. And the terrace is also, see? Covered? 
I think it's, well, I, so Gershon is learning things that's out of cover. I personally think that it's because the, it's, it's, uh, it's because we want the people to think that it's a good omen, that it's going to be a good year because Hashem, Hashem came onto the right side, which it really didn't. But then from the Teretz, it sounds like it doesn't, he doesn't care. He says, Don't give a Makam to the Tzadukim to, to fight with us. Meaning, sounds like it would be a legitimate thing to do. Meaning something psychological as an omen is, a, is fine. Meaning it sounds like the Tzadukim knew about it, Gershon. So that means everybody realized, yeah, hey, you know what? We're going to switch it to the right. So that it should be a good, it should be a schooler. It should be a good schooler. That's, that's, that's essentially what the Gemara is saying. Otherwise, how, how come the Tzadukim know about it? Why did Tzadukim know about it? If it's, the whole thing was secret, how come the Tzadukim know about it? If what, if what was secret? That it came up in the left hand and they're shifting it to the right hand. It's not. They knew. I don't understand. So every, they must come to where everyone knew. Right. So then that's okay. So then that's so then there's nothing wrong with everybody knowing. I don't understand that. Okay. Anyway, we got to finish because the island is making early Shabbos. But uh, but uh, so anyway. So that's what we said. So fine. So he um, he told him that you can't you can't switch it. Because the tzedukim, just a few more lines. Toshima, ilu nemer es seir asher Allah alav. Let's say the pasuk said that you put it onto the seir that the lottery went on it. If it would have said that in the pasuk, which is very interesting, the gemara is saying if it would have worded the Torah this way, we would say this: ilu nemer es seir asher alav. Hayisi aimer yanicheno alav. I would say that you have to put it on it, right? Um, you have to put it, Mamish, you have to put the lottery ta- on top of it. Go, Tamalama, Allah. So, therefore, the Torah says, Allah. That Kivan Allah, that means since it came up from the from the, the box that they did the lottery, Shuv, Ainat Sarukh, right? You don't have to put it physically down on top of the head of the goat. Meaning, as long as you pick up the, the winning ticket, whatever, the one that says Lashem, and you yeah, and then you pick up the one on the right hand, whichever right, left. One says Lashem, one says Lazazel. That's fine. But you don't have to physically put it down on top of the head, on top of the head of the animal. Same one says Lamai, right? So what does it mean that you don't have to shuvein itzaruf? You don't need to ilam the mitzvah. If you say that it's a mitzvah, right? Mechlal the hanocha mitzvah namilai. That sounds like that putting it down is not even a mitzvah. So that can't be because we said that it is a mitzvah. El alav laakiv. What it must be? It must be that yes, you should try and put it down on top of the heads of the animal. But if you didn't do it, then it's not going to be ma'akiv. Shema mino hagrola ma'akva, and therefore we hear from this that the goyrel is ma'akiv. You need to do the goyrel, but hanocha, but putting it down on top of the head, that's not um, that you don't have to do. So that's what the gemara thinks. So my rabbi, no hachi This is what it's saying. Ilu nemar asher alav. If it would have said Allah, okay, I would say you have to actually leave it on top of the animal's head until it's shechted. Meaning you have to leave that piece of wood that says which one it's it's for, like Lashem, on top of it said, since you put it on there, then then it doesn't have to stay on there. That's all it means. But yeah, but according to those opinions, yes, you do have to put it down on the head. And if you don't put it down on the head, it's going to be market. Right? Okay, I guess we'll I guess we'll stop here because it's almost uh, it's almost Shabbos. All right. Good Shabbos to all those that are making Shabbos now and uh, good week good weekdays to all those that are keeping Shabbos, keeping weekday for another hour and a half or whatever. What, what happened with the mikvah thing? Nothing. I can't even know because uh, uh, what's called someone will call me back to see if he can do anything still. Anyway. All right, nothing. I don't know. It's not a gay. Not a gay. What? So I shouldn't call Burnack again? Yeah, it's, it's too late already. Okay, good job, everybody. What time tomorrow uh, night? Oh, to 9 40, I guess, right? Chavez is already like nine. It's over 72, is like 9 20 something. Wow. Right? Yeah. So, Jackal, that's like Sunday morning over here. I know it's it's uh, yeah I'm sorry but uh, you can already get your pizza. Darren, <laughs> you should give pizza for the island. I have no problem if the island comes here I'll give them pizza.
Okay. There you go. Be there. Fine job, Schwartz Knight. Aaron, 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 Mazel Tov. Where's the Shalom Zucker? There's no Shalom Zucker. No Shalom Zucker. He's in the hospital. No. Who had a baby? Darla was invited over. Aaron, you're invited over to me if you want. I'm making Shalom Zucker, yeah? Parents, I made a Shalom Zucker already. I finished half a bottle of vodka this afternoon. I'm good to go. Who had a baby? (laughs) Aaron, who had a baby? Shimon. Shimon. His brother Shimon. His brother Shimon. Mazel Tov. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jack, what you ask? They could come home tomorrow, or what? They with with the mother, yes. Uh huh. He himself, it's a two and a half hour walk. You know, if he needs to come home, he can walk. Uh-huh. I don't okay. see why he can't walk. I what tried. He had a good idea, Taka. He had a good idea. Let's say he had a head to take a. Uh, let's say he had a head to take a cab. Let's say. Right. Right. Is it better for him to take a bike or to go in a in a cab? Interesting. Lachara taking a bike is just not Shabbos, Dick. That's all. Going in a cab is, is a derisive. You mean, you, what do you mean? Taking a bike is just what? Of the dechal, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. If that. If even that. If Very even good. That. Shimon came up with that? And he can yes. get one yes. of them totally suits. They won't even know it's him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. now, my, my, my Aaron, Aaron, is that true? Rebar, is that true? My, my bike's electric. electric. Aaron, it's not true. With those suits, you can tell who the mile was. <laughs> I was thinking, you don't put that it's suit the on the baby. Mile. Don't put the suit on the baby. I don't know what it'll be with the bris. But, uh... <laughs> All right, everybody. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Nothing beats the early Shabbos uh, Shalom Zucker that you go to before you come home. Yeah, <laughs> That's the best. You go in yes. there, you can go to sleep. You know what I mean? Parents, 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 when my when Yehudin to me made the Shomzach for Daniel, their baby, so it's two years, whatever. So they have two minyanim in, over there in Pomona. So we dive in the early, but the Chabadska fellas they rolled into the Zacha after they're davening like nine thirty. They sat on the Zacha for an hour, an hour and a half. They were whacking everything. <laughs> they were going home to make kiddush at eleven o'clock and have the suit over there. Yeah, it was wild. It was wild. Yeah. <laughs> No, I've done that. It's very yeah. geschmack, you know. You think about it. You got you got to go home at twelve o'clock at night. Who's interested? Yeah, they were having a good time. Yeah. Wait, hold on, Rabbi Yankov. Yes. Is, is it mutter to go to a shalom zacher on the way to mincha? Why not? Or is that called Kabbalah Shabbos? Is that being mekabel the Ruki Vega? Which Ruki Vega? That that not you Ruki saying Vega, Shabbos? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who says you have to say good Shabbos? You just have to say Mazel Tov. Tov. Even if you don't say good Shabbos, Shalom Zach is only done on Shabbos. If you're going to Shalom Zach, it's Shabbos. I hear. I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, you don't have to. I don't mind this <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, all right, whatever. I said, I'm not complaining. Yes, and your, que- your question is, can a guy smoke at the, the early show? So he's keeping with Baylor Toms. He comes in smoking. Exactly. But that's what yeah, the can, question is. I saw, I saw you. Can, can, I saw you. you uh, Rabbi, that's what I was what, thinking. What happened with Rabbi Spiegel? Rabbi? Um, they, he didn't have. What should I tell you? He didn't have. And he's making. he's not making early shabbos, is he? Yeah, I think he is, of course. Who doesn't make early Shabbos? I, I, I figured he wasn't making early Shabbos. I don't know. He's at a bar mitzvah. Too late. So it's too yes, late. Yes, Naftali, man. Give it up. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to come through. I feel bad. Okay. What was he? What was Naftali doing? No, somebody is a visiting rabbi here for Shabbos, and he's here for a bar mitzvah, and he had cellulitis, so he doesn't want to go to mikvah chesidusha. A quasi He didn't want to go to mikvah with the, you know, because the cellulitis. He wanted, he wanted to know if anybody has a private mikvah. That's all. So we're trying to find him a private mikvah. But I told him, by studies, we're not such a from town. We can't find a. <laughs> what Someone is it told me that there's a guy has a private house, he's, he's, a private mikvah in Cedars, but he forgot the name. Cedar Hill. Yeah, he's, he's welcome to come over and do Tisha Kavan by me. I offered that. I offered that. I said, you know, we know people with pools. No, it's a gate niche. No, this is. I have a shower with the speaker inside. You know what I mean? It's a Tisha Coven works yes. here. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Right. Have a good Shabbos. All right. Good Shabbos. Shabbos. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta. What run were you tining before? Oh, you have before. to run. Yeah, but too, too quick. What, what? No, with the tzedukim. I, I wasn't understanding. No. He, 
Meaning the Tzadukim knew about it. It means everybody knew about it. So what was going on here? Well, because they saw the switch of the carbon, you mean? That's yeah. what you mean? They knew? Yeah. Right. So I don't know. I, I, so what I is never it? understood I the whole know. omen yeah. thing from the start. Two days ago, I never understood it to be an omen. So, okay, but that's what uh, I, I checked the art scroll. It said, it seems the art scroll saying that it's an omen. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I always me. understood it as a covered thing. The Abish should come up Sorry. on the left. Yeah, yeah. Not, okay, I mean, it's a covered. I don't know. Yeah. Then, if you could say that, you say Hashem didn't want that cover. The, no, it means that we're not deserving. We're not even on the level of that. It's not an omen. It's just saying where, which, what level we're at. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, it, it should be a chiv, no? To put the Abish on the right. Yeah. I hear you. How are you understanding that? What's the time of the tzidduk? That they, they, they'll be able to say you do whatever you want. Yeah, so no, that's, what, that's what the time is going to be. That what? What what what's what are they doing wrong? In the in the mind of a tzaduki, what what is the kind? What would the kind God will be doing wrong? What are you gonna do wrong? No, what what in what gives them a, a regal to say this? Because he did this. In other words, in their minds, switching it would be doing something wrong. Right. What? How is it against the Torah to switch it? I mean, because it's that you're pulling scams, aren't you? What? Uh, no. If it's just an omen, there's no scam involved. The Torah doesn't say anything about this. Right, left, who cares? No, because if it's they said it, it's it freaks out the people. Okay, and what? what but why? No, I didn't mean that. Why? Why should he keep it there? Where does the Torah say that the one that comes up on the right has to remain on the right, and the one that comes up on the left has to remain on the left? It doesn't say that it has to be. So then the tzedukim have no regline to, to stand on, to say, to, to, to be marda. Right, but Anachonami, if they had, if they had it, then it would be a problem. If they had a legitimate... It is a, the Gemara says it is a problem. No, it's only a problem because they're going to take this and use it as a scam. Because they're going to say what? That, that he did this, even though the Tyrus is not like that. So Mamele, you can do anything you want, not like the Tyrus says. So how here did the Torah say not to do that? Is this simply because the Pasuk just says, Asha'al Allah love Lashem, that has to remain there? That's the way they touch the Pasuk? I don't know. That's what you're saying. I don't, I don't know if that's a shot. There has to be something that they would take as being against what the Torah says. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know. I'm going to try and look up to look up some stuff about it. And see. All right, fine. I got to. I got to catch right. up on. Some did, did you ever look up the other thing? I can't remember what it was anymore. Which one? The Shkala or the Akiva? The Akiva. Yeah. I, I tried. I know I saw it somewhere. I can't find where I saw it, but uh, I know uh -huh. I saw it somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna try and continue to look. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good job. Shabbat Shalom. Parents, Shabbat Shalom.